Hi there. So I actually made two videos early tonight when I realized that I have another box to um, open up. Um, I got the notification that it was supposed to arrive today, but apparently they late left it in my like outgoing mailbox, which I never even bothered to check. And so I guess it's because like I had so many other packages. So yes, I am in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what, one of the nice things about these videos is that you get to know me a little bit better, um, you know, if you consider that to be a good thing. So yes, you are going to see me in my pajamas. Apologize if I flashed anyone through. <laughs> I don't think it was uh, too revealing. So anyways, this is the Owl Crate box, and um, I actually get the Junior and the Owl Crate if I find the themes interesting. So last time I got the Alcrate Junior first. So this is the regular one. So I'm super, super excited. And it looks big and it feels super heavy. I have to say, like, these boxes have been, like, really nice recently. I've been, like, really impressed. Um, it's interesting. A lot, a lot of these subscription boxes, like, the box itself is always the same. And um, they might just like put some like worms in here or something you know to like pack it up but I'll create I know it's like their boxes they're taller they're about the same they're like a shoe size shoe box type size but if it has a lot of stuff in it I know it's like it'll be like significantly taller um so yeah it's big and it is heavy I don't think I appreciated like quite how heavy until like I just held it in one hand it's crazy heavy so that means some, there's some good stuff in here I ordered so many boxes this month that I'm sort of trying to remember what the theme is. It was something about, like, Through the Enchanted Forest, which sounds right up my alley. Um, totally had to get this one. And I believe there's going to be a blanket in here. So this is kind of funny because I think because between all the subscription boxes I get, I am think I'm getting, like, three blankets. So I should keep warm this winter. Um, so I think I'm getting one Fab Fit Fun. Well, I know for sure, actually. Um, which is like a different type of box. And then also Accio box. They're doing um, a blink as well. I already sent the spoiler. I can't resist because it's um, it looks like the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. So I was like, okay, I'm sold. <laughs> but I think this one was the first one that was including a blanket. So yeah, I'll, I should be all set on blankets this season, which is good because it's actually a little bit colder than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I'm from Florida, Miami most recently, and it's, it doesn't get very cold there. I have a few like chilly days. Everybody's like, mucho frio. And I'm like, oh, it's hoodie weather. <laughs> Sorry. It's a Miami thing. We call our hoodies a, a winter coat in Miami. And we keep wearing our flip-flops. That's how we do winter there. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's pretty chilly where I am down. Not like hugely chilly, but it's chilly. I, I'm sure you watch this video because of the weather. And also, I'm getting this... There's my blanket. I'm also getting this box early for once. I usually get mine like a week after everybody else gets theirs. Yeah, that's why this box is so huge. Just grab one on top. I think this is from a book series, but I really cannot remember. So this looks like, um, it's probably not a huge blanket, but it looks like they have it like wrapped up like really, really tightly. So they could package it, which is smart. I don't think it's supposed to, it almost looked like tropical to me because the um the colors and some looks like a little tropical leaf there. I don't know, maybe I'm missing Miami, maybe that's what it is. Okay, it's funny this was outside, so it's actually chilly. Like the box was outside. I I didn't know it was out there because they put on my outgoing box. Okay, it's like fleecy, which is nice for, um, like, just kind of, like, if you want to drape it over, like, your couch or something. All forests are magic. I like that. 
Okay, it's pretty. I probably can't get it all in the frame at the same time. But yeah, it's a nice size. It's like um, holly black. It's not huge. Like, I probably wouldn't use it, like, as my only blanket to, to sleep in. I'm just going to kind of, like, drape it over myself and just keep it because I think I'm, like, flashing people in my pajamas. <laughs> you get one more view. Oh, there's a butterfly on top. I didn't notice that at first. The colors are almost, like, kind of tropical, so that's nice. So that's probably, like, the, like, big item in this box. So, yeah, it's, like, a kind of, like, a throw... I wouldn't necessarily like use it like as a blanket to sleep with, but um, probably like drape over your couch or like chair or something. It'd be really nice, or like maybe use like decoratively. But it's definitely warm. It's it's got like a fleecy feel. Okay, this is beautiful. The artwork, and I don't want to read the spoilers, but I can just kind of see that on the other side, it's got like the same um. I'll just try and flash it real quick. It's got like the same imagery, so that's really pretty. Get a closer view. It's like a princess, but she's got like um not it's like a little thorn crown, which I totally dig. It's got a little bit of like a frozen type vibe to it, but I like the story of it better. Frozen's cute. I don't have anything against like Disney movies, but the the singing was like a little too high pitched for me. <laughs> I tried to watch it once and I was just kind of like, yeah. Okay, I'll create Stelusa, created by Juniper and Ivy Designs. Well, I'm in. Okay, it. I've never seen anything quite like this. It's like just a little paper bag. And it doesn't really tell me what it is. It almost feels like a patch or something. Part of me wants to kind of hold off on this because it's like so mysterious. It's like I'll create Stelusa, but they won't tell me what it is. Hmm. And I haven't watched an unboxing for this yet, which is like amazing for me because I usually have no patience and I usually get when I'm like super late. So this like this is like a genuine like first look. I haven't seen anything in here. I knew we were going to blanket because that was a spoiler, but I didn't know anything else. Okay. Pipstick Sticker Club. Okay, um, oh, okay, I was, like, looking on one side, and they're, like, they're, like, tan and black, not quite black and white, and then I'm, like, oh, okay, it's on the other side. So I got some stickers. Okay, they're kind of, like, holiday kind of themed a little bit. Okay, they look like nice stickers. I guess they almost look like uh, decals. Like, I wonder if I can, like, pull them up and remove them. Like, maybe put them on the window or something. That would be nice. So, yeah, like, these are the color ones, which work with the theme of the box. And then, like, on the other side, there's these, too. So I wonder if there's, like, two sheets. I'm not sure. I like my blankets, nice and cozy. <laughs> okay, another mysterious thing just wrapped in like plain brown paper. This one like feels kind of metallic. I'm like wondering if this is a bookmark because it feels like really flat and like kind of metal. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably a bookmark. Yeah, it looks like a bookmark. A pretty book. It's like a metal bookmark. We got one like this in Fairy Loot not too far away. Not too long ago. I'm like, not too far away. Not too long ago. <laughs> oh, this is super, super pretty. There was a song in this forest too, but it was a savage song. Whispering of madness and tearing and rage. Naomi uh, Novik, I think. Okay, I really like the color. It's like a tree. Yeah, that's beautiful. I feel like the quality of the things we're doing in Owl Crate are like really nice. Like I feel like they've like gone up in quality. That's beautiful. I just love like the tree design. It's like metallic and shiny. Um, it's got like a little silvery tassel thing here. 
you know what? I think I can remember there was like a survey. I think they're drawn to like eco-friendly packaging, which I'm just like, yes. Um, yeah, I'm so against like the single-use plastic. I remember they were asking like subscribers if they would prefer if they used like eco-friendly stuff rather than like individually wrapped plastic stuff. So I, this must be like the first like round of it. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Okay. Just as I said that, there is a little bit of plastic here, but, you know, as long as they're trying, I can be happy with that. Okay, so this is an enamel pen, and we're getting a lot of shine off the plastic, so I'm actually going to unwrap it. And this pen is, like, gorgeous. It's like a butterfly, but it's got, like, a death head moth thing going on too and then we got snowflakes in the moon it's gorgeous I, I usually don't get that excited about a pen but that's like it's just really doing something for me this is a beautiful box like all the designs just like spectacular okay it's it's interesting too I was about to say we got something else earlier with a death head moth on it but then I realized Whoa, super, super glare. Let's try to show you the detail. It was from Fairy Loot. Um, if you actually watch like two videos back that I just recorded, they sent us in the Witches Be Crazy September box um, a bag that has Death Head Moth on it. So it was from Fairy Loot, um, which is like pretty similar to Alcrate. And it's just kind of funny to see that image again, like, so soon. That was, like, two months ago. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. And I think I'm actually going to add this pen to that bag. I've got a little, like, a little special pen collection going on over there. Okay, this is cool. I think I saw a spoiler that they were sending this as well. So this is a reading planner. Really, really pretty. I love it. Um, it almost kind of says more, like, spring to me than, like, winter or late fall, but... That's okay. I still like it. Okay, Magical Monthly Reading Planner. So I know it's for reading, but I wonder if I could actually use this like as a planner. Like maybe a little bit of both. Because I'm about to run out of my old Harry Potter planner because the year's about to be over. So this planner belongs to really pretty. I, I like floral designs. Like I feel I like kind of more like romantic flower designs, if that makes sense. Like more like kind of nature themed. Sometimes I call the other type of floral patterns I don't really like that much. More like the uh, kind of like grandma like upholstery flower design. Like you kind of know what I mean if you've seen that before. Like it's like a floral pattern with like out a story to it. Like it's just kind of like flowers. Where I really love, like, if it's, um, you know, it, it's not just pure, purely, like, floral. Like, you see, like, some vines and some trees and, like, the, the flowers are used kind of, like, more sparingly. Like, that I can get more into. I'm probably being, like, way too, um, analytical about floral designs but I just thought I would share that. Okay so it looks like maybe yeah it looks like I could just use this as a planner because I got like my month there. Oh and you can like fill out the month and like the oh yeah I could totally just use this as a planner. Okay nice growing owl crate so I don't really have to buy a planner right now. Yeah I love the stack. See it's got like it's more like nature themed than just like pure on like just flowers like I, I don't really feel that like I don't know just like yellow roses and there's like a few leaves that doesn't do it for me I like more kind of like nature themed like you're walking through the woods like there's like berries and stuff so okay so you get your monthly weekly and then you have your book which wish list and then your um monthly TBR to be read, just in case you didn't know what that was referring to. Okay, but I can totally like put appointments and stuff in here too, which I totally need. 
because I'm just about to run out of my current planner. So yeah, and then uh, there's a place to put book reviews. So this would probably be really nice for like a college student, which I, um, I've spent many, many years <laughs> in that position. Um, and I'm kind of like a lifelong student in this place for notes. I really like the stack. It's very nice. And uh, fits very well with the theme. Okay, so I like that. And I see so, like, some quotes and stuff like that. And at the end it says, happy reading. Okay, so that's nice. And this is like a totally like useful, practical item. So I'm a huge fan of that. Like a uh, gray loot not too far back since like cutlery which at first seemed kind of weird but i use it every day i leave it at work and that's what i use to eat my lunch with eco-friendly and it's just couldn't be more like practical and useful so big fan okay once upon a time i dared to dream of a strange lovely world where i belonged okay this is like a little um like advertisement or something coming out i kind of forget that they do this like this isn't really like part of the box it's like promotional thing Oh, and I have to admit sometimes, like, sometimes I get these boxes because, like, I want the items, like, it's a really cool theme, and I have to admit, like, there's so many times that, like, I just kind of put the book off to the side, but this, I looked it up, um, because I think I was afraid I was trying to get the same book in both Fairy Loot and, uh, Alcrate this month, so I had to make sure they were different because I don't want to, like, have two the same book. This actually sounds interesting. And I was trying to say the last time I really got excited about the book itself, which I know is kind of sad because that's like the purpose of this, um, was, uh, oh, I can't remember the title now, but it was a book about like the woods. I want to say it's called like Into the Woods, but that's the name of a Broadway play where they like retell fairy tales. I know it's not, a, oh, it came out like a year ago. I would totally know. That. I don't know. I loved it though. It was really, really good. So this sounds intriguing. This sounds something that like I actually want to read. And the pages look so nice and pretty. Sometimes I almost want to like keep these books wrapped up because like they're signed by the author. And I'm kind of like, maybe I should just like keep them in there. Okay. So yeah, the page is really, really pretty. I love that blue color. Um, we got a little letter from the author. Okay, so we'll just read this very briefly. The Walker women of Fur Haven have always lived in the woods. Some say the first Walker woman came from the forest, her bones built of roots and thorns as she sprouted up from the ground. That sounds cool. This is where their legacy began, a strange and mythical legacy rooted in rumors and folklore. I love all the um, like tree imagery, like the, the use of rooted and stuff. Um, over the years, there have been many tales of Walker women. Most have been lost, stories forgotten, fables and myths washed away with the spring rains. The story is one such tale. It was once scattered like autumn leaves, buried in the soil, stitched there until it rose, until something stirred it loose. Until the forest shuddered and opened its eyes. Um, and this is... Oh, that review was from Stephanie Garber. Okay. So yeah, I recognize that name. And this is by... I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Shay Earnshaw. Oh, and you can feel the roots on the cover. That's nice. Nice little effect there. Okay, very, very pretty. Th signed by the author. The blue has kind of like a little bit of sheen on it. Ooh, I was about to say, like, sometimes, like, people, like, show the actual book, and I'm like, it's usually not, like, terribly interesting looking, but it is. Look at all those, like, all the roots or vines or whatever they are. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like this. I think they might actually take the time to read this one. It's like, I subscribed to like three different book boxes and then like 
never have the time to read any of the actual books. It's kind of sad. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten to open my little um, paper package there that I, I said I was going to come back to. Okay, so, ooh, that's interesting. So Alcrate always does their own exclusive cover. So this is the regular one. I can't tell if that's like black or like a very deep blue. And then we got the white. Huh. It's more kind of like icy, like snow winter themed, I suppose. There's a little fairy loop thing. Light winter wood, try these other ones. Um, okay, and then they're gonna tell us what the next one's about. Okay, so actually I skipped what you're allowed to do with Alcrate, which is is nice, I appreciate it. I skipped the next one, uh Tales of Trickery. It didn't really I skipped the last one of science fiction as well. It it didn't really speak to me that much, and I've gained like all these other things. But I did get the Alcrate Junior because that actually sounded more appealing to me for the December box. Okay. Every December box will contain an exclusive book sleeve designed by Chatty Nora. Okay. Uh, I've got some book sleeves already. I think I'll, I think I'll live. I'll do that one. Okay. So we gotta open up. Oh, and you know what? I think this uh, bookmark. Yeah, it'll look really pretty with the book. They'll have, it's like kind of like similar design and color and stuff. It probably would look really pretty with the original um, cover as well. And then this, I think, it, the pen, it's supposed to go with the book oh, that they sent us. Okay, still have to open up this thing. My videos are getting really long. You guys have to tell me if like I'm spending too much time just talking. I don't want to bore anybody. I'm just intrigued by this little paper bag because it like didn't tell you. Oh, the little ornament? Trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, I like ornaments. It's like it's like a little wooden like laser cut ornament. I think it's pretty. Trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. I, I say I'm celebrating Yule this year. But I just love the holidays all this time of year. I loved it as a kid. I still love it now. Okay, where's the spoiler card? Oh, here. So, again, I think that's, like, really, really beautiful artwork. It's got kind of, like, a, like, adult, like, frozen type feel to it. Okay. Through the Enchanted Forest, November uh, 2019. Cozy up with this officially licensed throw blanket featuring a quote from the Cruel Prince. Next time you're reading your magical woods be sure to use this gorgeous metal tassel bookmark when thinking of enchanted force we can't help but be inspired by caves water from the raven boys juniper and ivy designs create the stunning wooden ornament for you to display during the holidays all year round we got like a wood, I thought it was a wooden ornament in Accio box, but it was actually an air freshener. So just wasn't a hundred percent sure it wasn't supposed to be an ornament. We were absolutely thrilled to partner up with Blue Star Press for our annual reading planner. Um, okay, so that was great. I'm probably going to mostly use this like a regular planner. And we couldn't send a planner without some magical planner stickers. Okay, so that's here. We've teamed up with sticker experts to create an exclusive pack of sticker sheets. One sheet is full of whimsical forest vibes and the sheet underneath is wonderfully bookish and you can color them in yourself. Oh, okay. So it is like two sheets. That's what I thought originally. Um, a small town in the middle of a snowstorm, a missing boy from a camp 
for uh, Wayward Youths. Okay, so that's the actual book, Winter Wood. Our collectible enamel pin for the month of November was designed by Four Seasons Fox. We were inspired by the depictions of the bone moth that follows the main character of Winterwood through the forest. Sounds intriguing. It makes me want to read it more. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy this unboxing. Um, my owl crate videos usually don't get as many views as some of my other videos because I feel like there are a lot of other people out there who um, are doing like the book box thing. But um, maybe since I got so early this time, we get some more views, and I will. Okay, I'm flushing people again. <laughs> I'll leave you with the. There's the like moth or butterfly again. I'll leave you with the image of the beautiful blanket. All forests are magical. I totally agree. So I enjoyed this box very much. I felt like it was a great value between the planner, the book, and the blanket. Got my money's worth and stuff. So. Big thumbs up and huge plant, a huge fan of the eco-friendly packaging. Nice job, Al Crate. Okay, see you later. I'll be going to bed soon with my blanket. Bye.